What's going on everyone? I'm back again for another quick video on my way home from work. I just want to talk to you guys about a lesson that's been brought to my attention lately and what I really want to get down to in this video is the importance of setting your own standards. What does it mean to set your own standards? What does it mean to stand alone and be your own person and be authentic? Well, I keep finding myself falling back into the trap of comparing myself with others and from there falling down into the trap of the good enough mentality. Oh, it's good enough. I worked hard this week. It's good enough. I woke, I was on time for work or just this mentality where you, you, you're, you've done enough. You don't need to do more. There's, it's like you've done all you need to do and now you can relax. Well, I'm starting to see that that mentality is a trap because that's exactly the mentality that mediocre people have. Where you've done your eight hours of work and now it's good enough, you can just veg out and watch TV. Or, you know, you've done your duties for the day and you can just veg out and watch YouTube or just, you know, relax. And I keep finding myself relaxing at the end of the day. Not that I have a lot of time at the end of the day because I'm usually focused on my son or my family or my fiance or my work. I'm sharpening my sword constantly, but I keep finding myself falling back into the mentality of, oh, I've done enough, this is good enough, now I can relax. When in reality, I'm nowhere near my goals. I wanna have a podcast, I wanna write a book, I wanna do a lot of things, but I've fallen into complacency because I, I put a lot of effort into my job, I put a lot of effort into raising my son, and I need to put more effort into my relationship with my fiance, but that's another piece of the pie. So I really need to get down to time, good time, I need to get good time management. I need to sit down and look at the time I have in the day and look at how I'm spending my time and really figure out how I can push the how I can push myself just a bit more every day. Try to get try to get 1% better every single day. Or I'm sorry, every single week. Just just try to try to push myself every day and have some kind of goal every single week. Anyway, guys, what I really want to tell you about is nobody if you're trying to do something different, if you're trying to think outside the box, if you're trying to push further than anyone you know has gone it's gonna be very hard and it's gonna feel like you're swimming upstream. Because in your mind, you're probably trying to compare yourself to all those people around you. And that becomes a trap because no one else around you is, it wants to do what you're doing. Everyone is just content with being mediocre. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with being mediocre. Most people are gonna be mediocre. That's not a problem. But if you're one of the few that wants to push further and think for yourself and push the boundaries, then you're going to have to learn to set your own standards. You're going to have to learn learn to stand alone and not follow the crowd. And it's going to feel lonely at times. You're not going to have many friends. You're not going to have a lot of time to spend with your family or whatever, extended family. Pretty much all of your activities will be purpose-based and your time will be very valuable. But at the end of the day, that's a gift because you get 10, 20 years down the road and you've actually built something because you've been focused and consistent. It's not, a, I'm realizing now, it's nothing hard, it's nothing complicated. If you wanna be successful, it starts with simple daily habits. It's all about your daily process. What do you wake up and do every day? From the time you're up to the time you go to bed, what's your simple process? It doesn't have to be a big, extravagant, complicated, process it just has to be something simple and if you're just consist consistently getting better every day you're on the right track but anyway guys I just hope that if you want to excel if you want to be different if you want to lead the pack you got to set your own standards and lucky for me I don't know anyone 
that I want to be like. So I get to set my own standard. I get to I get to be that beacon of light for everyone around me. So I really want to get out of this trap of comparing myself to others and get out of the mentality where you just feel like you've done enough because it's never enough until you just it's just never enough until you really feel like you've crushed your goals and you feel like you you've just been busting your ass and that if you're a young person I, I really don't think any of us young people are anywhere near that we have so much potential so we just got to be careful of thinking that we've done enough and there's a time and place for relaxation there's a time and place for days off but like David Goggins says we got to get out of taking days off when it's not a designated day off. Just because you want to you you feel like you you deserve a day off even <clears throat> if you've worked hard or whatever, if it's not a designated day off, don't take it. Push yourself. Thanks.